What's up guys? English Dan. Another video. Sorry I've not had anything out in the middle of the week. I've had this cold from like hell transcend on me. Yesterday was really rough. Ended up leaving home at work early to go home. So yeah, if I start on a bit stuffy still and that, I've still got it lingering. But mm, let's get on with it. So, Soundcore. We all like Soundcore. We really like Soundcore here. Soundcore, this year, last year, whatever, 2019 into 2020, they have knocked it out of the park every time they've released a product. And this is the new Flare 2 Bluetooth speaker. It came out around mid-January. Um, I've had this for a little over a week now, and I've been putting it through its testing. It's $79.99. It looks fantastic, but does it sound as good as it looks? <laughs> So, yeah, this is Soundcore Flare 2. Obviously, you've had the Flare and the Flare Plus in the past. Now we've got the Flare 2. This is this year's model, 2020's model. It's your backyard speaker, as they call it. This allows you to connect up to 100 speakers. So it's doing like what Sony does with their party chain. This does the same thing. You get 100 of these suckers, you call me. I don't care where you are in the United States. I will come to your house and I will film it. And we will do a review on 100 of these. Because, let me just say, 100 of these are going to blow your damn ears off. Gone. But anyway, you can connect up to 100. You can also just connect one if you want. It's not a problem. Most people will just have the one. Maybe a couple, you know. But still, you can collect 100. So now we've got the backyard and 100 sounds, blah, 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 out of the way. Let's talk about the speaker itself. It's a 20-watt uh, speaker. 360 sound, so it's got sound coming out every direction, no matter where you sound, uh, sit in or stand in or whatever, whatever you're doing. That's up to you what you're doing. Whatever you're doing, you can hear it. It's not going to be like uh, the Sony speaker that faces forward only, so if you're behind it doing whatever you're doing, well, you're going to be able to hear it where the Sony is going to be a little bit more muffled because it's coming out the front only. This has got true 360 degree sound. 20 watt speakers, they really do pump out some serious sound too. Really, really good when it comes to listening to different varieties of music. It's not overbearing with the bass, so it doesn't drown out anything like the mids or the highs. The vocals come through really, really crisp as well. But I'll get more onto the sound in a little while, and I've got some sound tests coming up for you in a bit. Obviously, nothing scientific. It's just me, my microphone, my phone, YouTube, and Bass Rebels UK. So, yeah. You're not going to hear it like you're going to hear it in person, but you can get to sample what it's kind of like and what it looks like. I mean, this thing looks fantastic. What they've done this time, they've added an extra light ring on top, and it really does just set this off. It looks great, especially when you've got a dimly lit room or a dark room, which my videos are. So you're going to be able to see them little tests in a dark room, and you're going to just see how cool this thing looked. It's, it's great. This... Hands down, I'm just going to say it right now. Hands down is the best looking Bluetooth wireless speaker on the market today. 80 bucks. Best looking. So, keep that in mind. If you want something that looks good, this is like, uh, yeah, it's awesome. Anyway, another thing about this speaker is it connects to the Soundcore app. When you connect to the Soundcore app, it has this feature called Bass Up. Same like as what was on the X2, if you saw me uh, review those, I did the review last week of those. Button on it allows you to bass up. This also has a sound core button on the top, that is your bass up. You press that, it'll bass up, give you that little bit of extra bass. Give you a bit more oomph into your songs if that's what you want. Um, and then also in the app, you get an EQ. Now this is my negative on this. So while they've got app integration with this, they say they've got an EQ and you click on the EQ and it's four presets, default, vocal, flat, and chill, I think, something like that. Maybe I'm getting the fourth one wrong. But either way, it's got four presets. It doesn't let you decide how you want to listen to your music. It kind of lets you know how you've got to listen to it, which is a downside for me because Soundcore have been updating that app recently with different devices, adding the custom EQ, like with the Liberty 2 Pro and I think the Liberty Air 2. Uh, earphones can do all that 
hopefully they can update this so you get a real graphic equalizer in there so you can punch up what you want and lower what you want so you can hear it how you like to hear it it will make it even better again by doing it that way i'm pretty sure that with some constructive criticism from people reviewing it they'll take it on board and they'll see what they can do soundcore are really customer focus i'm finding they listen to what people want and then they try and give it to them they're really really great when it comes to listening to the fan base and soundcore's fan base is huge and only getting bigger because like i say with every product that they bring out they seem to knock it out of the park and at 80 dollars, this is no different so what i'm going to do i'm going to shut up because I've spoken enough about this right now. I'll get back onto some more things a little bit later about battery, um, IP rating, things like that. But I'm going to let you listen to some samples because that's what you care about most, I would have thought. How does this thing sound? So I'll be right back. This is going to be a few minutes. Probably skip forward a few minutes or just skip through it a little bit. If you don't want to listen to all the music, I can understand that. Some people like to listen to longer segments. Some people like to listen to shorter segments. So I just try to cater for everyone and you can just forward through it if you don't want to listen to everything or see everything that's going on with it. So yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> So now you've just seen my super non-scientific sound testing so you can hear what it sounds like. What do you think? Let me know downstairs. When I say downstairs, I mean down there in the comments. But yeah, what do you think? I am really impressed with it. It's got some really good volume. I listen to this at like 75%, maybe 80%, and it's plenty loud enough for me. And the, the bass does come through quite nice, but it's not overbearing. Now, if you take bass up off, it does become quite a shallow sound. Base up on, you need to leave it with that. Now, base up off on acoustic and things like that, I think will sound really, really good. You know, where it's going to prominent the vocals, things like that. But I think base up on for most people is going to be where they want to be with this speaker. And that's fine. No, it's not a, a slight or anything too sound cool. It's there. Use it. You'll like it with it on. Now, let's talk about battery life. Up to 12 hours on this. Charges via USB-C. Yes. Yes. Yes, one cable for everything. I get excited when I see USB-C on these things because people don't move forward. When I say people, I mean other companies. Like, Sony didn't move forward until late last year. I mean, yeah. anyway, sound cool, nail it. USB-C, charges up in around three hours from flat to full, lasts around 12 hours. Turn the light show off, you get around 12 hours, a little bit less thing with the light show on. Um, when it comes to volume, like I say, I'm really comfortable and what you just heard is around 75%, 80%. You can turn it up to full, but it can get a little harsh for me on my sensitive ears. Maybe you like the uh, absolute bah, but my ears are strange. In headphones, I like my headphones to just crush my skull. Speakers, I like to hear them with clarity and clearness wherever i am in the room and like i say these are 360 so wherever wherever i am in that room 
clarity, clearness, I can hear it. It doesn't matter because it's giving me 360 sound. So, yeah, battery life, pretty damn good. It's going to last you. Now, let's just say you're out in the pool or something like that or at the beach and you get it in the water. Don't panic. Don't like, oh, my God, my speaker is broken. Oh. It's not because this is water resistant. It's IP7 rated, I believe, IP67 rated for dust. And let me just check that before I tell you a lie. I'm back. I lied about the six part. It's IPX7 rated. They say it's waterproof. I will say water resistant. I wouldn't, you know, keep this three foot down in the water or something like that. Obviously, no one is. Why would you do that? You're obviously going to break it. But, you know, it's it's fine. If it's going to fall in the pool, it's probably going to flow and it's not going to be an issue. You get caught in the rain. The ocean comes and grabs it. It's not going to be a problem. So don't panic if you get this thing wet. It's just going to be like, bruh, don't matter. Boom. Good. So... Overall, what do I think of this $80 little beast? It looks amazing. It really does. And I love the, the material on it. It's got a really nice speaker cloth material on this thing. It's built like a tank. Absolute built like a tank. And let me just show, say, <clears throat> when you turn this thing on, and press and hold the Bluetooth button here, and it'll give you a cue, an audio cue, to let you know that ooh, Bluetooth's enabled. You can pair it with your phone really, really fast. It's no problem. If you don't want to mess with your phone, and you want to just, you know, control it from the top. You can do everything from the top as well. Sound core bottom for bass up. So there you go. Turn it on and off with that. you got your volume up and down. Then you've got lights. So if you want to change how the lights move on this thing, as you can see, I press the button on the top. The light show changes to the various different ones that are in there. And you can even turn it off, as you can see. So if you want to conserve battery, want this to last that a little bit longer. I hit the microphone. Sorry about that. But if you want this to last a little bit longer, you can turn them off. But I think you're crazy because this thing just looks awesome. So yeah, is this English Dan approved? Hell yeah. Soundcore have done it again. I don't know how they keep doing this. Their product team, their designing team, things like that. They have got like superstars working for them right now. And Soundcore need to keep them people there because they are releasing absolute banger after banger when it comes to products liberty air 2 liberty 2 pro soundcore flare 2 the x2 they're just great the original liberty air were great couple of shortcomings but they fixed them in the liberty air 2 app support on a lot of these things then they customize the app they upgrade the app soundcore are just for me right now soundcore are my favorite company out of everyone bound on that doesn't mean i'm going to give biased reviews if something's crap i'm going to tell you I am excited about Soundcore and what they've got to bring. Their 2020 lineup is going to be fantastic, and hopefully I get to show you more of them. I'm going to try and get the white Liberty 2 Pros. Um, I don't know whether you've seen them, but they have released them in white now. And I'll give you a first look on those, and I'll just do a comparison to the regular Liberty 2 Pro so you can see the difference in the whites and the, and the black. They look stunning if you've not seen them. I've seen them, and they look great. They've got to be in my ears sometime soon. Anyway, that's English Dan. These get two thumbs up. If I had four thumbs, they'd get them as well. But yeah, go out. Link's down there. Affiliate link, you know, don't cost you any more. Doesn't cost anything anymore. It just helps my channel on the back end if you purchase through that link. Also, it gives you up-to-date pricing as well. I'll also put the Soundcore link direct to Soundcore down there in case you want to buy it direct from them guys as well. Up to you what you do. The Soundcore link is not an affiliate link. But yeah, this is... English Dan, signing out. Oh, and if you're watching this on Amazon, www.youtube.com forward slash C forward slash M-O-D-R-N-D-A-D. That's my channel. Come and pay me a visit. All right, guys. See you in the next Soundcore video. Later. Later.